I learned about Josiah Cheney by reading an appendix in a watershed plan. And I went to the Minnesota Historical Society to find his manuscript. It's fascinating. I read every page. It's over 30 pages. And it's phenomenal how he's able to capture the tension between development and water resources. Not only is he incredibly thorough and incredibly detailed, but it's really profound just how many water resources we had in the late 1800s, things that you can't find on maps anywhere. To me, the legacy starts at Mears Park because that's where Baptist Hill used to be. And Baptist Hill essentially was free fill for the bottomless bogs, the confluence of Phelan Creek and Trout Brook as it led to the Mississippi River. And what's so ironic is that Mears Park today is a celebrated public place with a fantastic water stream through it. One of the hardest parts was figuring out what map to show. There are so many maps of St. Paul from the mid to late 1800s, city engineer maps, county maps, atlas plat books, which are very detailed. There's more maps that I haven't even looked at. So why did I make the movie? Well, I just think that there's so many untold stories about St. Paul's water resources. And I've just barely scratched the surface from wetlands to the Mississippi River, lakes, and even Battle Creek here. Everything's got a story to tell, and I really look forward to just bringing that to the surface for people. <laughs>